Good morning. My name is Florian. Um, uh, we've been going to Harper for a few years, and this morning I'd like to share some thoughts with you. Um, I have uh, three beautiful daughters, as some of you might know, and uh, I'm very blessed to be their dad. Sometimes I think God made me a dad not for their sake to have a dad but for my sake to teach me a lot of things about myself rather um, it's often parenting and handling situations i learned a lot about who god is as our father um, and maybe not in the way you would think it's not often that I think, oh, I handled that very godly, I acted like God. Um, but more often than not, it's uh, like, God wouldn't have done that. God wouldn't have reacted like that. And so in that regard, it, it's my example shows me how God is um, opposed to how I, I am. And at times that can be fairly uh, discouraging to just see your own self sinfulness, your own lack, um, just your own darkness still inside of you. And so I'd like to share with you a passage that I really like because uh, it just touches different aspects as well of aspects of my testimony um, as you might know I have a weird accent and uh, I didn't grow up in the States but in Switzerland and um, I went overseas in mission for some time and met my wife there and we got married and now I'm here and just looking back over my life there's not many aspects where I can say oh I made a good decision but there's very many uh, uh, occasions where I can say God really pulled me or, or pushed me or uh, shoved me through something to have me where he wants me to be. Um, God is really uh, keeping me, I feel like, in a, in a very comforting way. Um, it's not yeah, I can't take any credit for where I am now, um, but it's all by God's grace. And so the passage I like to read from a little bit is in John chapter 6. Um, basically, after Jesus fed the crowds and he went to a different place and people followed him and wanted to talk to him more. And they asked him, basically, what must we do? to do the works God requires. Um, so they wanted to know, what do we have to do? Um, what can we do? And uh, Jesus tells them the work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. So there is nothing but it's faith. And they kind of get irritated and start saying, well, then give us a sign, right? Like uh, our fathers have had the, the bread falling from heaven in the desert, so um, we want the sign too. And I think they should better not started talking about bread because Jesus started talking about bread after that. And he talked about how he is the bread that they need to eat in order for them to have life. Um, that there's nothing that they can do, but Jesus alone is the way, alone what will fill up. Um, in verse 35, it says, Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry, and he who believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me, and still you do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. 
For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who he sent me, that I shall lose none of all that he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. It's all in Jesus. Um, I, I heard uh, a person talking about what does it mean to believe in Jesus and it sounds very simple and I encourage you not just dismiss it too quickly because of it but his answer is that apart from my faith in Jesus I go to hell and you go of course that's the gospel <laughs> but what is there apart from faith in Jesus. So often we take confidence in making the right decisions, our walk with God, um, our devotional, our prayer life, our, um, it can be our knowledge of the Bible, even our having correct theology. Um, what do we take confidence in apart from just faith in Jesus um, and for me like I said right now parenting uh, is humbling I mean having my own business is humbling um, there's lots of things lots of opportunities for me to get discouraged and so it's just really encouraging to read passages like this to see that it's it's in Jesus um, then later on basically he goes on talking to them and lots of the people listening to him were offended um, and it says they turned away they stopped following him and so he turns to his disciples and like do you guys or do you want to turn away as well and Peter told them, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. And I just, I can identify with him saying, Lord, to whom shall we go? Like there is nothing else. There's no, no alternative. It's not a choice we make to follow you, but it's like, there is nothing else we could do there's nothing else we could choose like once you realize who jesus is there there is nothing like there is nothing else we can take confidence in there is nothing else that we could rather do um there's nothing to compare it to and i just pray that um as today you go through your day you you experience that just the freedom of the of the grace of god the freedom of the simplicity of it like jesus done it all he died for us as in in romans it said when we were still sinners and he saved us before we even cared about him he died a long time ago um, and so now that we are saved now that we want to follow god how much more shouldn't we just have God wants to give us everything with it? Like, but it's still by grace. Um, we were saved by grace. We live by grace. Our past is by grace and our future will be by grace. Um, like, I, it's very encouraging to me, like, not to take myself too serious. Um, not to get discouraged in my failures every day, parenting, or, um, but to rejoice in Jesus that it's by grace. It was by grace, it will be by grace. And I just hope that uh, today that can be, you know, a thought that will uh, be encouraging and a thought that can draw you closer to God. Um, and something that can be, you know,
be reflected in your life and can be contagious for the people around you. Um, yeah, I hope you have a great day.